from uh, Paris Saint-Germain. Nearly scored early. Signe Brune darting in behind. Side netting when she might have scored. Really should have scored here. She goes across goal. Either she scores or Baltimore's in a great position. And Brune was involved in much of the action, particularly early on. Ended up with two goals as well, but it might have been plenty more. Good save this from Nadozi, though. She, she stood up for long enough, and that's the key to that save. Brune did well to stay on side. Good block, Nadozi. But then the opening goal, De Britz with the corner. Watch Dudex run here. And then that clever header and Brune darting in at the far post to score. That was pure training ground and it worked really well. And then they might have made it too and made life a lot easier for themselves. Paredes with a really good charge. Brune with two excellent touches. De Britz inside of the post and away. One of those on another day goes in the top corner, doesn't it? And then uh, Paris Saint-Germain pushing again. Katoto, the start of the second half with that header. And what a wonderful save that was from Nadozi to keep Harry FC in the game. Katoto does so well here to just keep pushing, keep charging, keep believing. Nadozi dragged it back. And then uh, Paris Saint-Germain would have their chance for a second. Katoto. I think Harry FC are really unlucky there. Laplacette coming back to make the challenge for me. She goes down the side of Katoto and wins the ball. De Britz converts 2-0 Paris Saint-Germain. This already felt like game over. And then this certainly did. Six minutes later, Gayoro with an excellent run. Katoto joining in, Brune with a tap in. That was 3 0 for Paris Saint Germain. Brune had the second goal. At the very least, she should have got out of the game. Just held her run in time, very tight. And then uh, they could have made it four here. Goalkeeper came, missed it completely. So this is a lovely moment. The absurdity of football. Paredes fires the shot goalwards and it rebounds back straight into the goalkeeper's hands here. But then, but then, it started to get interesting. Three down, 12 and a half minutes to go. Aigbegun with the touch then. So does really well. And Katala caught by Alana Cook, or was she? Not entirely sure she was, but Katala on her 30th birthday made it 3-1. Nice moment for her and seemingly just a consolation. But then, as we moved into the second minute of added time, ball stolen away by Matteo. Tine helped it on for So to make it 3-2. So already, barely believable, PSG from 3-0 to 3-2. And then, look at this, over three minutes. Could they create a final chance? Well, the answer was yes, because if Tine can just control that, she's in on goal. It's actually a really big challenge from Ertre, the substitute, the youngster. Only a second game in the top flight. She made that tackle that saved her side. Wow. Well, there's the inquest. Paris Saint-Germain holding on to win 3-2. And that's Ramona Backman and Irene Paredes with all of their combined experience. Two of the uh, most experienced players in the team still debating what nearly went wrong. Well, that will all be put right. I'll try not to make those mistakes.